morning everyone. Today is Monday, July 9th, 2012, and the regular City of Burnsville Planning Commission meeting is now called to order. The first uh, welcome, Commissioners. Welcome, Mr. Slania. Thank you. Uh, members of the listening and viewing audience who have joined us, welcome. Uh, our first item on the agenda is uh, administration of the oath of office to our two new Planning Commission Commissioners. And uh, Mr. Slania will take us through that. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, I'd ask Mr. Uh, Commissioner Tahari to come down. I'll give you a copy of this. And if you wouldn't mind repeating after me in a second, find a very colored pen. <clears throat> Please raise your right hand. I, Ben Tahari, do solemnly swear. I, Ben Tahari, that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the State of Minnesota. That I will support <coughs> the Constitution of the United States and the State of Minnesota. And faithfully will discharge the duties as a member of the Planning Commission of the City of Burnsville. And faithfully discharge the duties of the Planning of the, uh, the Member of Planning Commission of the City of Burnsville. In the County of Dakota and State of Minnesota. In the County of Dakota, State of Minnesota. To the best of my judgment and ability. To the best of my judgment and ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. If I could get your signature right here. Thank you. And I'd ask uh, Commissioner White to join me. Please raise your right hand. I, Joey White, do solemnly swear. I, Joey White, do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States and the State of Minnesota. That I will support the Constitution of the United States and of the State of Minnesota. And faithfully will discharge the duties as a member of the Planning Commission, excuse me, member of the Burnsville Planning Commission of the City of Burnsville. And faithfully will discharge the duties as a member of the Burnsville Planning Commission of the City of Burnsville. In the County of Dakota and State of Minnesota. In the County of Dakota and the State of Minnesota. To the best of my judgment and ability. To the best of my judgment and ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. If I can have you sign this, sir, right there. Okay. Right here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Slania, for taking care of that. And uh, now it's, uh, I would like to extend a very warm welcome to Ben and Joey to the Planning Commission. Um, I, I do hope that uh, your service uh, will be enjoyable to you and will, you will provide a tremendously good service also to the city of Burnsville and to the residents of this great city. Welcome aboard. If there's anything we as commissioners and staff can do to help you um, understand and to function uh, more efficiently, please do not hesitate to ask. So welcome aboard. Thank any, you. Any other commissioners? I, I did all thank you. You did a good job, Mr. Chair. Uh, welcome to the studio. Thank you. Again, uh, any questions, just let us know. Uh, any words from Ben and Rajoy? Um, no, it's very exciting. Looking forward to it. Um, hopefully, we'll provide services, the best services we can to the city of Burnsville. Thank you, Ben. So far. Nothing to add. I'll try to be here at least a minute before the meeting is called to order next time. But uh, <laughs> no, I'm good. Thank, Thank you, you, Commissioner. Looking White. forward to it. Okay. Um, the next item on the agenda is the adoption of the agenda. Before I do that, commissioners, I would like to extend a very warm welcome to a young man who is a friend of mine. Would you please stand? Uh, he's a friend of mine. He's my neighbor and my buddy, um, Ian Elliott. Ian is uh, an eighth grader at uh, Falcon Ridge Middle School, and he's working on the citizenship 
in the community badge. So he's here to check us out and see if we are doing a, a great job and, uh, and to uh, work towards his badge. So welcome, Ian, and, and your dad, Bob, welcome. And uh, I hope you find this interesting and helpful. Thank you. Okay, our next item on the agenda is the adoption of the agenda. Um, any changes to the agenda? Do I hear a motion to adopt? So moved. Moved by Commissioner Tyken. Second. Commissioner Corey. Corey. Commissioner Corey. Sorry. Um, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, five votes. Uh, agenda is adopted. Item three, consider approval of minutes for previous meeting of June 25th, 2012. Any corrections? No. None from staff. Okay, do I hear a motion to approve? So moved. Moved by Commissioner Corey. Seconded. Seconded by Commissioner, Commissioner Julik. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. I carried on the 5-0 vote. Uh, thank you. Uh, item four, a public hearing. Application for Torgerson and Torgerson LLC for a planned unit development amendment to allow a patio for outdoor seating located at a business at 12950 Aldrich Avenue. Uh, Mr. Slania. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Commissioners, this is a planned unit development amendment. It does include a public hearing. The property, as indicated, is the 12950 Aldridge, Aldridge Avenue building. Uh, the building is exists. Uh, previously, uh, last few uses were a restaurant. It was constructed as a restaurant in the 1970s. Uh, you can see here on the aerial photo, it is adjacent to Aldridge Avenue. The top of the screen is to the north. Uh, it is uh, also adjacent to the uh, I-35W right-of-way just on the other side of Aldridge Avenue you'll see this is the uh, exit ramp for I-35 um, and the interstate is just the rest of the interstate is just off the page to the right there's one access point all off of Aldridge that is not changing for the most part the building footprint uh, the parking lot circulation uh, the layout of the site is not changing uh, there will be significant interior changes to the uh, floor plan of the restaurant and the seating arrangement and we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, the proposal is by the owner operator Torgen Torgensen and Torgensen. Uh, they have acquired the franchise rights for a new restaurant uh, Hurricane Grill and Wings. Uh, this would be their uh, first restaurant of this franchise first in Minnesota. Uh, they're obviously very excited about it. We'll hear more about the restaurant as we go through the, the, the application. The specific request by the property owner is for outdoor seating patio. The restaurant itself as a use is permitted. This day dates back to 1979 when the original uh, PUD was approved for the site. That was for a restaurant. Since then, there's been a number of uses in there, a number of different operators. The applicant is rec requesting a patio through a PUD because the property is adjacent to residential. These are all the properties that front along Aldridge Avenue. These are all uh, commercial <laughs> B3. Forest Glen Drive um, is a neighborhood that sits directly west of this property here, uh, you'll see that all of those properties directly to the west are residential, single family residential. Because of that, the patio needs to be approved by conditional use permit or planned unit development amendment. Uh, when discussing the PUD amendments, we talk about the benefits and the deviations, uh, what outweigh each other. In this case, we do have a new restaurant uh, we've got a number of buildings along Aldridge Avenue that are currently vacant. Slowly but surely, we are filling those up, but a new restaurant here, a new uh, vibrant draw to the neighborhood with a uh, well-designed patio could, uh, could do very well for the neighborhood. The other benefit here is there are no deviations. 
the applicant satisfies the green space requirement, parking requirement, landscape requirements, et cetera. Uh, we are just discussing the use of the, uh, not even the use of the building, but the use of a patio outside. Uh, the patio is 700 square feet in size. We're, we're, uh, uh, we've proposed 32 seats in this area. Uh, there would also be a, a small fire pit, other amenities, well landscaped, provide a aesthetic seating area um, and a good experience for people that are outside. Uh, the, the image in front of you is the landscape plan, again, to keep you in your bearings. Here's the driveway into the site, Aldridge Avenue to the right. The primary entrance to the building will remain as the previous tenants had it right here. The proposed patio is off the northeast corner. Uh, a number of reasons for this, uh, certainly it's efficient for circulation and so forth. It is also uh, is as far as possible from the neighboring single family homes to the southwest. Uh, this gives the ability for the building to block any visual or audio uh, disturbance that may come from that patio. Um, in lieu of that, the applicant um, needed to create a, a aesthetically pleasing environment for those customers outside. So there is a significant landscape plan around this area. I'll get into the landscape for the rest of the site in the, in a, in the moment, but for now, we're focusing on the ability to buffer and block the noise and the images of Aldridge Avenue and the interstate. As I said, this parking is satisfied, uh, as is the green space, landscaping uh, criteria. The, with the exception of the fatio, the footprint of the building is not changing. There are aesthetic improvements. The applicant is, is making a new paint color to the EFIS. Um, new signage on the exterior, uh, the trim will be redone, uh, a lot of cleaning up of the site because it has been vacant for a while. Uh, uh, there are, will be uh, some sidewalk repairs along the north side of the building. This is a emergency exit, secondary exit for anybody on the patio. Uh, they'll be uh, using this uh, sidewalk to get off off of and out of the, the patio. The applicant has done a great job with the landscaping. Um, right now everything on the site will be redone. The existing turf uh, that's there will be torn up so it could be uh, resodded. The applicant's also proposing irrigation in all of the landscape areas which will uh, be a great amenity to the site. Uh, previous owners were not as uh, cognizant or um, uh, diligent on the landscape maintenance and it did fall in disrepair so this is a, a great improvement to the site. Uh, there are entrance features on either side of the driveway. As I mentioned significant plantings around the patio and near the front of the building. Uh, we've got uh, 25 coniferous trees, 52 ornamental trees, um, areas of shrubs and grasses and perennials again at the front of the building. Here's the seating plan uh, for the property. Again, uh, the patio is up in this corner, 32 seats out there fire pit indicated here. You'll notice the interior layout if you had been in the previous restaurant. Uh, the entrance was here but the bar is now being moved here as more of a queuing or staging area with the balance of the building as dining. Uh, I know the applicant will want to give you a, a better idea of on, on the history of uh, the restaurant and their operating procedures but I want to give you an idea uh, what kind of floor plan we're looking at. Um, this is actually less uh, seats inside and outside on the patio than the previous tenant. So the operator is dealing with uh, slight surplus in parking. So even when they are 
uh, very busy at the beginning with uh, new customers coming in uh, we'll be able to satisfy their on-street parking or excuse me off-street parking uh, finally mr. chair commissioners there was a neighborhood meeting held on June 20th two neighboring resident residents attended they were supportive of the application there were no concerns addressed at that meeting that certainly may have changed and we'll hold a public hearing to address any of those issues staff is supportive of the request uh, at there at this time there are no conditions proposed and I'll stand for any questions thank you very much mr. Slania commissioners questions of mr. Slania wasn't there a similar proposal about a year ago from the former property owner a year and a half ago there was commissioners I will I will address that um, I'm just curious how much this differs from that because if I remember right that passed right it did uh, 60, I think that's 60. mr. chair commissioners in January of 2005 the previous operators did propose a patio it was in the same location uh, again in this area to help shield and block the the noise or the aesthetics of the patio it was uh, supported by the Planning Commission and it did receive approval by the City Council the operators never constructed the patio um, I'm not sure exactly of the timing but the, the business went out of closed down shortly after that Commissioner Tegan thank you Mr. Slania mm -hmm. thank you Mr. Chair um, I know in the report it says no exterior lighting changes are the current lighting up to code correct they They're, are yes the the uh, park the lights in the parking lot are downcast there are um, under canopy inserts or that's not the correct term but there is enough lighting back here the applicant as they move forward may propose more decorative lighting uh, but as with anything uh, they add it would need to be consistent with the ordinance okay um, so I know there's some problems with the previous ownership but those weren't related to the patio um, yes and no uh, to, to start off the Hooters restaurant opened in 2005 I believe and they were uh, November 2004 they were extremely busy uh, this was one of the first restaurants for that group um, they weren't very well experienced and I don't think they anticipated the uh, the novelty of the business and didn't anticipate those early on crowds that did create issues um, the clientele is much different than what we're talking about with this restaurant um, after Hooters had been open for a while they did approach staff uh, we did not support a patio at that time again because they were still busy um, by the time November of 2010 rolled or excuse me January of 2010 their customer base had dropped off uh, staff had, was not experiencing the the calls and the issues um, that we had years before so we did support the patio at that time again we never experienced it under operation because they, the ownership never went through with it okay do you know if we did a conditional it uh, a, a limited permit like we do sometimes where we give them a year to kind of um i apologize i i'm sorry i, I didn't ask i went you. through some of those conditions i don't know that it was uh i don't believe it was limited and then uh, we'll move on from there the signage you said they're just going to re uh, re reface the existing signs or not change any of that the, the location of the two wall signs will remain the same they are coming down going back in the same location okay. the I'll jump to a different image there's a pylon sign right here you can see the shadow of it um, uh, across the property line that is remaining the applicant will be taking the face off putting their logo and so forth but it's not changing and it, it won't be a LED or no it just be a it, it standard uh, stagnant sign and do we know when they're targeting opening date I would let the applicant address that thank you mr. Slania thank you mr. chair thank you Commissioner Titan um, any other questions or 
Okay, I have, um, uh, Mrs. Lania, um, I take it there's no restriction as to when the, this additional area will be used. It can be used anytime during operating hours. It, it can be used anytime during the year. The ordinance does require that uh, the, any music or anything like that be pumped, uh, pumped into the patio be stopped at 10 p.m. Thank you. That was my second question about uh, music playing there and how late uh, will it be allowed. So thank you for answering that. Any other question? Uh, Commissioner? Uh, Actually, I remember I hit the button this time, I think. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Um, what about, so from a parking perspective, why do you think we won't have issues like we had with Hooters when they first opened? Um, is there any reason to think Hurricane Grill wouldn't have that same issue? I'm just curious what what the thought process is there. Yes, uh, let me get to that. Uh, commissioners, the, the um, seating uh, floor plan is different. There's less seats. Even with, uh, even with the patio uh, on the hurricane, there are less seats than were previously at the Hooters restaurant. Um, obviously, they may be busy, uh, and we hope they're busy. Uh, <coughs> Hooters was running exactly what they needed. They had equal number of seats to the equal number of parking stalls. In this case, we have less seats. We actually have a few stall surplus. Okay, thank you. Any other questions? Uh, we have a representative from Torgerson Properties here, Mitch, Mr. Mitch Peterson. Is it Mr. Peters? Mitch, Mitch didn't make it. Uh, okay. Joe Kohat will be staying in. Would you like to him to come up and... Would you please, sir, come to the microphone and just mention your name and address for the records? My name is Joe Kohout. My address is 1112 West 139th Street of Burnsville, Minnesota. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, you heard one of the questions they had about um, uh, proposed opening date if it's approved by the City Council? will be October 1st. October 1st. Thank you. Just to go back uh, about uh, uh, music being piped into this area, uh, you're not planning to have uh, anything special located in that area? What we'll do, we'll have uh, three speakers instead of just the one or two so we can play it at a lower level and cover the area. So if it does, it, and the way it's directed, it's not going to be going to the residents unless they request it. <laughs> okay, um, any more questions? Commissioner Julik? Uh, thank you, Chair. Um, uh, Mr. Kohout, is, is, uh, the patio is intended for dining, it's not just a smoking patio? Correct. Is, is, there a, is there a smoking area? I mean, a lot of restaurants have a little bit of a smoking area. I don't know. Is, is there any consideration for that? Uh, you know, it hasn't even come up. Um, so we would, we would address that when it came up. There's a bench area like up to the, out of the front door to the, to, as I'm looking at, to the left, that we would probably put a couple benches out there for the people to smoke. And then um, could you just maybe share with us a little bit about uh, and, and maybe even get yourself a little bit of uh, free advertising if you'd like, share, share just a little bit about uh, Hurricane and what, 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 what the cuisine it's is, et cetera. Hurricane Grill and Wings, and they're based out of Florida. There's approximately 48 right now, a majority of them being in Florida. There's um, one in Texas, one in Arizona, uh, Atlanta, North Carolina, five in Long Island, and then uh, a couple in Indiana. In Indiana. Um, I would liken it to a Chili's or an Applebee's of more of a family neighborhood restaurant with a bar versus the other way, the, the people that they're already comparing us to, uh, which is more of a bar where you can eat. So it is uh, geared towards the families. We're not uh, aiming for a lot of uh, late night crowds or heavy bar crowds. Uh, the uh, food is fresh, never frozen jumbo wings, 32 flavors of sauces, as well as you can make your own. Uh, fresh, never frozen, 100% Angus beef burgers, fish tacos, 
mahi sandwiches, salads, fried pickles, uh, conch fritters, um, french fries, things like that. And it's in a tropical setting. So when you walk in, you feel like you're walking into some place in the Keys. Okay, thank you. You bet. Commission, Commission Taken. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Chair. Um, what, you, you said you're more family oriented. Are, how late are you guys planning on being open? Uh, right off the bat, uh, you know, during the week we'll probably, I can't answer that right now. I, we'll, we'll go by when the business is in, usually Friday and Saturday nights. We have, we already operate, currently we operate three Green Mills, three Perkins, and three Independents. Okay. So we're not new at this. And depending on where those restaurants are, we have uh, all three of our Green Mills are associated with hotels. So during the week, we're closing down the dining areas around 10, 1030, and then the bar 11, 1130. Fridays and Saturdays, it'll stay open later, but it depends on when the people are there. And you, you actually answered my next question is, you seem like you are uh, have done this before. So. Yep. You know, I, and other different types of restaurants. I was in front of a different crew way back when, when the Buka opened up here okay. in Burnsville. Well, thank you, and I wish you luck. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Any other question? Uh, yes. Commissioner, uh, okay, Mr. Strania, first, please. I apologize, Joe. I did not include uh, some of the background in information on Torgensen. Torgensen. Okay. You want to just cover that with the Planning Commission? Sure. We have a um, 38 hotels 38 hotels nine restaurants and some of those hotels also include full service restaurants and them been around for over 20 years based out of the twin cities all of the properties except for one are in the twin cities we have one in naples florida um and the we all have experience in the restaurant way too many to to count um so we're in it for the long haul we're not in it to just come in and grab it. The question as far as seats goes, we're more interested in the experience for everybody versus cramming too many people into that space. Thank you. Commissioner Tahiri? Uh, yes. Um, the the door that is showing on the, on the north side of the building into the patio, is that considered to be an exit door from the facility? That would be more for an exit. I mean, we're going to be seating them through um, the door, as you see, into the dining room. Well, based on the plan, there are two exit doors I'm looking at, so this probably, according to code, has to be an exit door. For yeah, the facility. but we'll mo we will use this one in and out, so yes, people can leave through that door. Well, uh, as far as the exit occupants uh, calculations, do you know how many people mainly exit from this door in case of fire or hazard? hazardous situation? How many are, 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 are assigned or designed to exit from this door to the patio? I would believe that uh, they could all exit out that door. Mr. Go ahead, Mr. Chair, Commissioners, our uh, building official did analyze this. They did provide a code analysis. Okay. We didn't provide all that information to the kitchen, but I believe um, based on conversations, because of the improvements that need to be made to the sidewalk on the north and the west side of the building um, the exit to the into the patio is counted as an exit out of the building and then also pedestrians can go along that north side out of the patio so the exit the exit from the patio out to the sidewalk is a legal exit door with a panic hardware and correct that's all i have thank you commissioner tahiri commissioner white um, <clears throat> has there been any response or have you even talked at all with the owner of the adjacent hotel about um, if they have any concerns with the patio affecting their guests at all? We're in conversation with them. They've already agreed to let us take down those two pine trees and we're also talking with them about um, the, the stairwell, but I don't think we've addressed the patio, but we did have that meeting two weeks ago which they were invited to attend. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, this is your first 
a restaurant, a, a, a hurricane restaurant in Minnesota, right? Correct. Okay. I, would, I have a question. Why? What's the reason? What draw, uh, is drawing you to Minnesota to establish your first restaurant here? Well, we're based out of Minnesota, okay. so we've committed to them Coming that we're going to open 17, and I live approximately five minutes from the site. So as we looked around, I have a, a good understanding of this site. I, I think that there's a tremendous amount of potential in Burnsville. Um, I think it's, a, it's just a great site sitting up there in, on, next to 35W. Um, I think it's going to spur a lot of interest as people are driving to and from work, and we just figured it was the best place to open up number one. Burnsville is a good place to have a business. Too. Absolutely. Okay, any other questions? Uh, for if not, thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. Uh, this is a public hearing. Um, uh, I will now open the public hearing. Anyone who wish to come up and address the commission on this matter, please do so. Uh, we would appreciate giving your name and address for the record, sir. Yeah, Dan Fox. I live at 1307 Forest Glen Drive, right behind him. Welcome, Glen. And I just want to say you can't compare them to the previous owners. We had a lot of trouble with the previous owners with cops. When they had that meeting for the uh, patio, it was sent out on look like a napkin. These guys sent it out in business head letter. It looked more professional. It was a lot better meeting than what we had going over to Hooters on the night last, whenever that was, January. And, you know, that was a joke. Um, from what I see of this, it's good. I'd rather see it get in there, get the business going. Um, the hotel next to it, you want to look at the police reports, go ahead. you got pages of police reports. You always see cops in all them hotels. So, I mean, I wouldn't worry about the hotels. Let's get these guys in here and let them open up. That's all i got to say. So you're very supportive of this business yeah. getting in there? It's new. It's going to bring more people to Burnsville, you know, and shop at other places, maybe get gas at the Holiday Gas Station or whatever or go to uh, the grocery store next door or, you know, or go over to the Performing Arts Theater. Okay, hold on. Let's see if other commissioners would like to ask any questions or comments. Anyone? No, thanks. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. Yep. Appreciate it. Any other person who wish to come up and address the commission on this uh, matter? Seeing none, I close the public hearing. And now, commissioners, it's your turn. Commissioner Corey. Um, thank you, uh, Chair. Um, I've only I've been here one year now, and I think this is the first time that I've had uh, a presentation where there was no conditions attached, um, which makes it very easy for us, I think, to look at. Um, basically, I think they've thought of of everything that uh, that you would want in this uh, type of uh, situation. Um, from my experience, um, patios uh, with our limited amount of summer and uh, winter, or a lot, of, a lot of winter, less summer, uh, are, are beneficial. They're certainly helpful. They are a draw at least six months out of the year, I would say. Um, so it's only going to, I think, help them. Um, and we hopeful, hopefully they succeed. So I think we should uh, wholeheartedly support it so that it gives them uh, every advantage that uh, we can. Thank you, Commissioner Corey. Commissioner Titan. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, I concur with Mr. Corey. Um, I guess the proximity to the residents in that neighborhood kind of concerns me a little bit. Um, and I, I'm, first of all, I'm very supportive of the business coming in. I'm glad they're, they're thinking about it. But um, even though we've had people come and say that it's a, a, they like it and they're you know, glad that somebody's moving in and probably taking care of the property, I'm still a little concerned about the patio noise, uh, especially with that wall there now reflecting back into the neighborhood. And I'm just, I'll float up the idea of making it, uh, you know, conditional for a year or two and then, you know, with staff approval, if there's no complaint, staff approval to carry it forward. What other people think. I'm just, I, I, I'm just really worried that it's so close to residents that uh, we end up with a lot of complaints and then there's nothing we can do. Thank you, Commissioner Tyken. Commissioner Julie? Um, thank you, Chair. Um, 
I can understand uh, Commissioner Tyken's concerns. Um, I do want to uh, kind of uh, state that I uh, echo some of the previous commissioner statements that the uh, um, it would be a welcome addition to Burnsville. Uh, Burnsville can can uh, use more restaurants, and it does and it does take care of a site that uh, is currently vacant. Um, with respect to the potential for patio noise. Um, I guess I'm not, uh, if I look at the, the, the pictometry that you have in front of us here, they've placed the patio in such a place that it's, it's close to the uh, freeway side. Um, if you look at the back of the uh, part of the hotel there, that provides further blockage of any patio noise. I can't, I can't imagine the, uh, you know, conversational, um, uh, that you get at a rest, typical restaurant on a patio there that it would really have uh, any significant impact um, uh, in the surrounding community. I don't really share Commissioner Tyken's concern there. Um, uh, and as I look at it, they're, you know, they've created a business plan. That if you look at the restaurant layout that was up earlier, they, they didn't pack them in. It looks like a very... Um, uh, comfortable arrangement and um, um, the patio represents a sizable investment as well as coming uh, into the community losing 32 seats especially in in, su in the summer restaurant hours um, I, I don't know that we should impose that risk upon them so I, I guess I would uh, uh, echo uh, um, Commissioner Corey's previous statement that it's a very clean application that has come in. It, it meets all the requirements from respect to landscaping, respect to parking, um, uh, respect to existing code compliance. Um, so I, I, I'd be very supportive of the plan as it stands. Thank you, Commissioner Julie. Commissioner Corey? Um, thank you, Chair. Um, I, I appreciate the concern. I, I echo, echo what uh, Commissioner Julie said in the sense of they're obviously putting a whole lot of money into this to re to reformulate it and to build that patio in there, I don't think it's really fair to them to say, well, we're only gonna maybe let you have it for a year or two, depending. And again, I think if you look at it, just as uh, Commissioner Julik said, it's next to the freeway, so you have that kind of competing noise. I understand there's a, a noise wall there, um, but you also have the hotel that's blocking it, plus all the parking lot going across. Um, it, there's not going to be bands there, is my understanding. There's, you know, basically music. The music can't be too loud because people are going to be having conversations uh, over, uh, you know, dinner. Um, and then, you, so then you're left with basically the, the ambient noise of conversations, which with the shrubbery and stuff, I assume is going to go m largely up. Um, so I, I guess I wouldn't be in support of any condition and, and basically would concur with Commissioner Julik on that. Thank you, Commissioner Cody. Commissioner White? Um, I initially shared Commissioner Tyken's concern as well. I think the reason those concerns went away for me were first the location, as has been mentioned, being on the other side of the building from <coughs> the residences. Um, the residences. Uh, second, I believe that the location is actually toward the end of the, noise, the sound wall, if I'm not mistaken, so I don't know how effective the sound wall is at keeping some of the freeway noise out anyway. Um, I walk by this regularly. I take about five or six walks a week with my kids, and I live about a mile from here, so we wind up walking by here probably once or twice a week. And uh, we already have to raise our voice for the traffic noise <laughs> just in conversation with my wife. So I, I don't know that the, the noise factor, I, I just don't see it being increased enough, especially given the type of restaurant we're talking about here with a family restaurant. So um, personally, it's not an issue, and I... I agree with Commissioner Corey's um, point about um, the business not really being able to put an investment in something that can only be guaranteed for a year in the first place. So, Thank you, Commissioner White. Uh, just a reminder that uh, the Planning Commission in 2004 approved uh, a 60-seat <laughs> uh, patio. So I think, uh, I think this one is a clean one, and uh, I agree with commissioners who um, feel that uh, there's no need for any uh, conditions to be attached to this. Any other comments, questions? Do I hear a motion? Sure. Commissioner uh, Julik? 
Ah, now I gotta find the, <laughs> the uh, bear with me just a second. Take your time. <coughs> Nobody's watching. Uh, <laughs> I move that uh, the Planning Commission uh, recommend to the City Council approval of the Plan Unit Development Amendment to allow patio for outdoor seating located at uh, 12950 Aldrich Avenue. Moved by Commissioner Julek. Second. Second by Commissioner Corey. Any other discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Against? Okay, this is a 5 0. Approved. I think this is a, uh, Commissioners, this will be a great addition to Burnsville uh, Wing wing Joint. I don't know. <laughs> wing Restaurant. Um, I'm a wing, I, I like wings, so I, you'll probably see me there. Um, this matter will go to the City Council on uh, Tuesday, July 17th uh, for their consideration. We wish you well and good luck. Mr. Thank Chair. You very much. Yes. Come. I, if we could ask the owner to let the city staff know when you open and they can pass that on to us. You bet. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Our next item on the agenda is uh, number five, other business. Uh, the July 23rd, 2012 Planning Commission meeting is canceled. Uh, the next meeting will be scheduled in, in August, of, of course. Um, item B. Under five, planning commissioner updates. Any updates? There's a chance. Okay. All right. No comp uh, brings us to the end of our meeting. Item six, adjournment. Do I hear a motion? Be before you move, please. Uh, our viewing audience, uh, listening and viewing, viewing audience can follow the planning commission on Comcast channel 16. Check it out for a schedule when uh, planning commission uh, is on. So now can we have a motion to so moved. move by Commissioner uh, Tyken? Seconded. Seconded by Commissioner Julik. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Good, good, good night. We are off. Thank you.